start with the uh, the the broker, man. I mean, this is that, that's what makes it all possible, guys. You yeah, have to have the right tools. You have to have the right tools. You can't. You cannot come into the battlefield <laughs> holding a little pellet gun, right? I mean, that's the thing. You have to be able to get a broker to rely on, uh, locates, and all that stuff. So you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, guys. So the broker that we're using is called Success Trader. And the key about them is they used to only work with hedge funds and institutions. So we've been talking to them, and they were able to open up their services for the retail guy. So as a retail trader, now we have access to the same, you know, platforms, the same locates, the same tools, the same routes that hedge fund traders use. And bro, it's been amazing, especially the MIC route, man. The MIC route is like people are now copying the MIC route because it's so innovative. We want to be with a broker that is innovative. We don't want to be with a broker that's just doing the same things nonstop over and over again. So being with success trader, we get some of the cheapest locates out there, some of the cheapest commissions out there and some of the largest rebates out there. So for using success trader, your commissions are 0.002 a share by using the MIC route, you're getting 0.0025 a share, which is 0 0.0005 in profit for every trade essentially. And then you get, and then to be on top of that, you get the discounted locates, which I think Bed Bath & Beyond today was 0 0.0025. So to locate 50,000 shares is $125. So it's, it's dirt yeah. cheap, man. Now, let me explain further for those that don't understand uh, sure. this route. Because this route, the reason why this route happened is actually we wanted this route to happen. We, uh, we, we told them we needed to create a special route for a couple of reasons, okay? First of all, how do you compete with the free trade Robin Hoods of the world? We, there's no way. They got to make their money, right? So what, what happens is this. These are ECN routes, electronic exchanges, okay? And they actually pay the broker money to promote their routes so that they can send order flow. So that, you know, so they pay the broker. But most of these brokers, a lot of these brokers, man, they keep the, the rebates for themselves. Correct. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to do a pass-through. What's we basically... I don't want the broker to get rich, okay? So the broker should give back to me. So when me and Alex are traders, guys, first and foremost, we're traders. Um, we sit here all day trading, man. This is, not, you know, we're not here just to pump and promote business, right? Uh, so we needed a route that, number one, I want my money back. I want to get the biggest ECN rebates there are. And so they got it to 0025 somehow. You know, they, they coded in the back end. But what, what that does is this, guys. Your commission is 002, which basically is you're trading essentially for free. You know, you actually get paid, okay? Paid, paid kind of, right? You get yep. five mils, right? But, uh, but more important than that, guys, I wanted the route to be completely free for you, meaning you can slam the bid. If you yep. have a 1000 share order, slam the fucking bid. No I will slam the bid all day long with the MIC route, bro. It was totally free. Totally this, free. This is the crazy part, guys. I, People do not understand. This route is just not an ad liquidity route. If you add liquidity, yes, you'll get the 025. But if you need to panic and slam the bid or or hit the offer, spray the offer, take the offer out for some reason, right, to cover or whatever the hell it may be, completely yep. free, guys. That's yep. the way get this, man, because there's no other route that I know of that does this. So the other brokers are actually catching up to us because they, they've been scamming all this time, man. They've been keeping the rebates to themselves. So you guys... And your 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 broker is like, ooh, they came up with this new route. No, dude, they're forced because we caught them. We caught them stealing money by keeping this, you know, the, the rebates for themselves. Number two, okay, if you are a smaller trader and paper trade, fuck the paper trade. Forget paper trading because you know if you paper trade too long, you're gonna get you're gonna get all messed up because the fills are different. You 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 don't have instantaneous fills, you know. And so what happens? You can put in a very small share so basically it's live trading but it simulates paper trading because you're all you're doing is like 10 shares you can put 10 shares 100 shares and it's completely free okay so you can basically live trade but at, treat it as if it's paper trading because there are no fees once you use the mic route there's no fees okay and the fact that we don't play these dis they don't play these discount games guys you see these brokers advertising 50 percent off and all this shit that's because they mark it up like 100%, man. I, sometimes I post um, on my Twitter uh, the prices for the locates today. Uh, I mean, dude, the, the 
brokers, man, they're, they're literally charging you 10, 15. And the thing is, guys, this is the same broker that Bao and I are using. We make millions of dollars trading, and this is the broker that we choose to use. Is for a reason. The commissions are fair. The locates are the cheapest. They have the most locates on the street. They have six locate sources. Some brokers just have one, right? So anyway, enough about the broker, bro. Let's talk about this trade today, right? So, so guys, today was a huge trade for me. Let me actually show you guys a screenshot so you see it. One second. This was a $145,350 trade, which is fucking, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Well, I'm doing this, man, because you know a lot of people are doubting. Exit from DOS. Log into DOS. And go back. Okay, give me one second. The thing that's funny about social media, guys, when you lose money, oh, you suck. It's real. But the moment you make money, they think it's all fake. Okay, exit. And I think this is what people came to see. But, you know, man, the, you remember, guys. Uh, so, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about this. But here, yeah, this is what my login is. So I'm just covering it up. <laughs> back. Now they're gonna say that uh, <laughs> you go into a fake account because <laughs> you covered up your 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 log on. But guys, this is um uh, this is not the first time. So and it, this is the net P and L after all commissions were paid off and everything. So let me just try to zoom in. I don't know if you guys see it. There you go. And then I'm gonna get a rebate at the end of the month as well to cover all the commissions. Uh, but, uh, I want to go, uh, want to talk quickly the trade. Let's start with yesterday, Alex. Uh, this is what this is what is, to me is the more impressive. This is the the reason why I think you know we are successful traders, not because of giant one off P and Ls, is because showing what happened yesterday and, and yesterday to today. Yeah, let me actually pull up the P and L from yesterday too, just so I have it handy. But basically, yesterday I lost money, guys. <laughs> I lost money yesterday. Uh, I was kind of, I was not really uh, pissed, to be honest. I was just kind of just annoyed with myself because I let a solid trade turn into a losing trade, which, you know, happens from time to time. But I was talking about this yesterday in the YouTube live of, you know, keeping your losses small. So this was yesterday. I lost 950 bucks yesterday. Right here, small red day. This was yesterday. You see right here. Lost it on stock. One, one day ago. So I lost yesterday, guys, and, you know, I mentioned to everyone that as long as you keep your losses under control, as long as your losses are less than a day's worth of work, it doesn't really matter, right? So if you make, I don't know, $100 a day, if you lose $20, it's not really the end of the world. But if you make $100 and you lose 5000 now all of a sudden, that's a month, month's worth of work. And in trading, guys, you never know what you're going to wake up to. I didn't come into the day thinking I'm going to fucking make all this money, I'm going to do this and that. But I saw that there was a potential opportunity. So the trade that I took today was on Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a meme stock, guys. And if you remember, Bed Bath & Beyond already had its parabolic move. It went from like 5 to 30. And then Ryan Cohen sold his entire stake. The CFO sold his entire stake. And the stock went from 30 down to $8. Now, the company is probably very close to bankruptcy. I don't know if you guys have been in a Bed Bath & Beyond lately, but... It's usually a ghost town in there, but point is, guys, that they released a forward-looking catalyst, okay? They had a forward-looking catalyst tomorrow that said that they had some sort of action plan of how to avoid bankruptcy. They had some sort of something, right? It doesn't matter what it is. They had a forward-looking event tomorrow. So in my opinion, I thought that every single person knew that the sell the new setup was happening tomorrow, right? So when the stock gapped up today, my thought process was the smart money, the insiders, whoever's running this stock up again is going to use the gap up today to sell before everyone expects the sell the news to happen. So everyone, I'm telling you, everyone thought it was tomorrow, which makes me, logical me included, sense. Me included, guys. Bro, it makes logical sense, right? But in the market, you have to think 10 steps ahead of these people sometimes, right? And, you know, it was just a thesis that I had. It was a thesis that was confirmed by price action. And what my thought process was, okay, stock closed at 13-ish dollars yesterday. They gapped it up to $15 on nothing. And I think a lot of these diamond hands people thought, okay, 
$15, maybe it's going to go to $20. And in reality, they did the complete inverse of the setup. Well, now, this is how it yeah. starts. Well, I see. You know, everybody, when you trade, you have an idea, right? They call it thesis, whatever, an idea. But you really don't know. And the, what that's that's part of the fishing, right? You're, you put your pulls in. You didn't just automatically short 100,000 shares in one spot. You know, you added to your position when the price actually confirmed your thesis. That's what it is. So, you know, he, Alex didn't wake up to, to think like, hey, he's going to put 100,000 shares in to try to make money, right? It's kind of like just kind of happened. That's what, that's what trading is, guys. You, you make a plan. And then what happens is sometimes the plan, you know, goes bigger than you expect it to go. Yeah. And the truth is I got out too early, bro. <laughs> Shit tanked almost $2 more. So I should have made almost double or triple. But in trading, guys, you can never be, you can never be perfect, right? You can never get the top. You can never get the bottom every single time exactly. There's always going to be uh, room left on the stock. And if there's room left on the stock, it means that you traded it pretty well. So I'm going to show you guys my trades for the day. And I'm actually going to explain because I took a stop loss on this earlier today. And then I got back in. So I'm going to show you guys my trades. Yeah, that, that, that's the beauty. I saw that, man. I saw you took a stop. So that happened, guys. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah, you see me, Bob? Yeah. So I, I this is the yeah, So basically, stock gapped up, right? So I took some position here, you know, kind of into this bounce. And what my thought was above this line here, if it broke above, this is about 1520. If it broke above, maybe it would get a lot of attention. Maybe it would become attractive. Maybe 16, 17, 18 will come, and maybe I'll get an entry near 20. So what I did is I covered. I covered for a loss here. Covered for a loss. And then when I saw a lower high, I saw a lower high, I started getting back in. And then I saw a fail. I got back in. And then I saw a death candle under VWAP. I sized up. And then it rejected VWAP. I added it again. So I waited for a signal, which is this death candle under VWAP. I shorted the bounce. If this reclaimed VWAP, I would have got out. Instead, it did not reclaim. I added... And I was mentioning all morning to everyone in the room that my plan is on a morning wash. I'm going to cover the position. I'm going to wait for the bounce and I'm going to short the bounce. Immediately at the open, I covered pretty much everything uh, at 14. I had a fat finger uh, position here, which I tried to get out of. And then when it bounced towards VWAP, I added. And this pop right here towards 15, this pop towards here, I want to let it settle first. I didn't want to add yet until I saw what it would do. Is it going to break above 15 and reclaim the pre-market high today? Or is it going to come back down and trap everyone at 15, right? Because that whole dollar mark. When it came down and trapped everyone, I <coughs> locked in some profits to give myself padding in case it bounced back to 15. It didn't bounce back to 15. So I reshorted, reshorted, reshorted. And then boom, I got out around 13, 90 and 14. That, 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 that's the key, Alex. And that's, that's what the money shot is right there, man. The fact that you waited to see, to wait for confirmation. Otherwise you would have kept, at, some other people would have kept adding, adding to lose and they blow up. And that's how you get giant losses. Also, one major thing that I forgot to mention is because I covered, because I covered down low at 14, at this point, I locked in almost $40,000 on that lock-in which allowed me to be green the entire time that it was bouncing. So because I was able to be green that entire time, I was calm, I was not panicking, and I was sticking to my plan. I could have never expected it to tank all the way to 12. I never anticipated a big move like that. But I took my money, I ran away, and you know this stock has been a crazy, crazy great winner for me. But the last couple of weeks that it was moving, it bounced like crazy. It bounced every single time I traded. Every single time I traded, it bounced. It's actually, the smoothest tank I've ever seen it. <laughs> no, yep. fake, no, the fake out was the fact that there was no fake out. Exactly. So it fucking it didn't fake out for the one time that I had size. And you know what the thing is, guys? I was shell shocked from the last couple times that it ran. I was I every time that I traded the stock, it ended up bouncing. So every time that it ended up bouncing, I was like, ah, oh, shit, did I fuck this up? And then the one time it doesn't bounce, it takes it. You know what? I can't complain because what's going to happen is next time I'm going to be a little bit patient 
and it's gonna bounce all the way up to high of the day. So today well, was the thing that the thing is this, guys. It's it's like if you're gonna go gamble at the casino on twenty one, and you you should always is you're gonna double down on eleven. You always double down because when you start doubting yourself, is when you fuck up. So Alex right. has been doing the same thing. We've been doing the same kind of process. We got to you have to take the money along the way. That's the way we trade, right, guys? If you do that, you know, you, you cushion yourself like Alex does. So don't, if I did not cover that morning dip you, out, I would have been fucking panicking out. You, exactly. That's my whole point. So that's the thing. These, you know, it's kind of like, man, the, as a trader, guys, I'm telling you right now, this, is, this trade is not going to make Alex any more rich. It really doesn't really change his life. It doesn't change our life one yeah. trade but it's accumulation over five years doing this that will change your life and that's the key guys as the one-off trade doesn't mean shit to us if we are able to consistently do this all the time which we are which we teach people to do this that will change your life you know we talk about this all the time guys it's not the one-off trade it's the cons being able to consistently do the same thing repeat the same thing over and over and, and that's why you won't see these giant pnls from us and big giant swings up and down all the time we're yeah. not you know, trying to brag about this. This is something that is repeatable, and we've done this over and over. And we have videos on this. If you realize, my two biggest trades of the year have been first red day and sell the news. These are textbook, textbook MIC setups that we teach all the time, bro. And these, believe it or not, these are almost the most simple, simplest trades. It's not a day one hot chick. It's not a day one low flow. It's not a day one runner. These are trades that you have the ability to make a great amount of money sticking to a very simple strategy. The problem is that it doesn't come around every day. So because it doesn't come around every single day, that's why you have to be careful. So as you see, yesterday I lost a thousand dollars because there was no edge. There was no opportunity. I didn't size. You want to show Today, me, Alex? Excuse this, me? this is not something that we secretly do. Alex is not here secretly training this thing behind the scenes. We actually come up with a game plan every single day, guys. Every single day, there's there's a watch list. It, it gets pretty to the point where it's pretty boring now, guys. Um, Tell me. <laughs> I mean, making money. I mean, I, I, I hate to be an asshole, but you know, <laughs> you know what the excitement for Alex was? The excitement is not the making money. I swear, it's the fact that he got this recorded. The fact that he can come and explain this to you guys on Instagram Live Day. That that's what it's more exciting to me and Alex. Hey, you know what it is? The best if, part if is us, not, it's not Alex, us, bro. Not it's exciting. Never. If it was, if no one was around for for us to go over these trades, it would not be exciting. So yeah, and the thing is, guys, we we're very blessed, right? We're very blessed. I mean, like you know, Bao and I make plenty of money trading, and you know, MIC we do just to be able to help people because you know it's gotten to the point, guys, where in MIC we don't want to bring in people that are not willing to work hard because Bao and I work hard. Bao works twenty four seven, drunk, sober. The guy's working because he wants to help you guys, right? And I want to help you, so. It's getting to the point, guys, where we don't want to just accept everyone into MIC. We want to kind of make it more for people that are serious only because we're serious about it. So if you just want to come here and gamble, just don't waste our time. Don't even bother because we have a lot of resources. We have a full team of people to help you, but you got to be able to at least try because there's no other place on the internet where you're going to see two millionaire traders that make hundreds of thousands of dollars in a day and instead of going to the fucking club or going to the Gucci store, we're sitting in our office helping you for free. So please respect the process that we have. And if you are not serious, do not waste our time. That's it. Yeah, one thing I like to comment, man, the, the reason why we are where we are today, it's the risk management. That's we, It all comes down to risk management, being humble, being able to, to know that Alex can lose $900 yesterday. And it's yeah. okay. It's not embarrassing to post $900 loss. Uh, and then come back surprised. That's the thing with trading, guys. You really don't know when the big well will hit. The fact that you got to be here, go through your process, and it hits, it hits. That's exactly what that's it is. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. It's, we're yeah, going to yeah, yeah, forcing any Because the problem is that these guys are coming in like, I want a bank. I'm going to show you on a bank. And that's when you lose. You're forcing trades. You, we, we, the setup is out of our control. It's up to God, up to the players, up to the market to decide the setup. All you can do is execute. Get ready and understand and execute. When, and when Alex executes, it's a reflex. It's not, he's not thinking, I got to push this button, push that button. It's, it's repetition over the years of doing the same thing over and over. That's what we keep telling you. You cannot just join for one month and become an expert in anything. Yeah. You know? So it's like learning a new language, right? So it's like 
It's like me trying to learn Chinese or Vietnamese. I'm not going to learn Vietnamese in one month, bro. I'm, it's going to take me time. It's going to take me practice. I've been, I've been learning Vietnamese for my whole life. It's okay. <laughs> but that's the thing, guys. And you have to be passionate about it, right? Because, like, for example, I am not passionate about working out. So I'm never going to fucking start a workout YouTube series. I'm never going to do it because it's not something I'm passionate about. But trading is something I'm passionate about. And because I was so passionate about it, it helped me through the dark times. It helped me through when I thought everything was uh, pointless because I didn't do it for the money when I started. I did it because of a passion. When I started eight and a half years ago, bro, I never thought, never that I could make $145,000 in 15 fucking minutes. I never thought, you tell me that. I was making fucking coffees, bro. I never thought, but so happy I was being passionate. Bro, I remember the PLs, bro. He was very happy making 100, 200 bucks. I made, I, this is what I told everyone at the meetup because a lot of people were asking, what do I do? What do I do? How do I get to the next level? I said that, bro, when I first started trading, I made $100 a day for six months straight. For six months straight, I was making $100 a day, and that's what helped build my bank. That's what helped build my account. So if you don't have the ability to remain humble to make $100 for six months straight, because that at that time, Making $100 was simple for me. So instead of trying to go crazy, I grew and grew and grew and grew. And, you know, here I am making 100 times that or 100,000 times that. And the process is still the same. It's just adding another zero to the end of the share size. Correct. So that's the thing. You guys you guys don't understand. You have to build. You, you have. Whoa. Oh. My internet. You have you have to build your bankroll along the way, and while you're building your bankroll, you're learning as well. So there's a leveling up process. You can't just start being trade, uh, start battling like Mike Tyson. I always say that, right? You got you have to level up. And if something's passion for you guys, if something's worth it, guys, you do it right. Like a doctor will go through twelve years. He's not operating in the fucking first month. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole yeah. thing. So um, MIC is not going to be for everybody. Training is not going to be for everybody. You know, if you want to get rich quick, you go to the casino, you slam it all on fucking red or black and roulette and just... That's you it. slam it all on red or black and then double zero green hits. That's it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or or give this a real shot. Fucking a few months, man. A year to change your complete life. That's what Alex did. That's what I did. Everyone has to go through the same thing. It's not... You know, we always say this, man. It, it, it took us many years to become an overnight success, right? <laughs> That's what it is, so... Yep. Yep. And let me show you guys one more resource that you could use to your advantage is we do professional calls for free guys. So if you click here on the website, click here to book a free mentorship call, you will be able to get on the phone with one of our moderators and they will mentor you for free. This is for non-members. So if you're on the fence about MIC, if you're curious about MIC, if you're curious about trading, if you are in a different community, whatever it is, book a call with us and we will be able to help you and mentor you for free. Because this is our passion, man. This is whether MIC is 100,000 members or 100 members, Bao and I are going to be trading until the end of our last breath. And <laughs> while we're doing it, we want to have some fun too. That's pretty good. So it's, uh, so it's on the website, Alex? Uh, my investing yeah, myinvestingclub.com. Top right corner. Book a call. Um, and that's it, man. That's yeah, it. There's also the, the free webinar. Is the slash webinar still? Yeah. So again, guys, after you book a call, if you guys want to see more of our content, if you want to see some of our strategies for free, Go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. You get to watch a previous live trade for me. So that should be cool. But other than that, uh, I think it's time we go back and help the members who are fucking crushing it today, man. Yep. We'll, we'll see you in the room, guys. We'll see you in the room. All right. Good job, Alex. Bye, guys. Thanks, bro.